This is pertaining to COPE. We understand that COPE's William Adisha is planning to lay criminal charges of corruption and money laundering, Muloko. Can you talk to us about this? Very true, uh, Mfundo. We are actually at a police station in Pretoria. The Deputy President of Congress of the People and Member of Parliament, Mr. William Adisha, along with uh, other members of COPE, will be opening criminal charges in this police station behind me. This is against the Deputy Minister of uh, Water and Sanitation, Mr. David Mashobo, when he was still a member of Cabinet as Minister responsible for state security. According to the report that uh, was released by the Zondo Commission, Mr. Mashobo was directly involved in the operations of the state security agency. Actually, he allegedly also collected money, and apparently that part of that money also found its way to former president Jacob Zuma. Of course, Mr. Matobo has always denied any wrongdoing, in fact, saying that there was nothing that really prohibited him to be involved in the operations. But here we are now. The Congress of the People wants to open a criminal case. Mr. Madisha, thank you so much. Tell us what case will you be opening against Mr. Matobo and why? Uh, thank you very much. Um, what we are here to do today is to open a case of corruption against the former minister, uh, Mr. Uh, Matobo. Um, what I want to indicate is that uh, he was not only involved in those corruption uh, cases, but then what he actually did was to be the commander in chief to some extent uh, when he was doing all those particular things, given the uh, powers by the then president, uh, Mr. Zuma. Now, what he did was not to only um, get into mere corruption, you know, kind of cases. It was money laundering. Some things actually even led to the killing of uh, uh, South Africans. That is exactly why, number one, we are here. We know that he established many projects, some of which killed the people. If one were to give you an example of uh, uh, such a uh, project, uh, there is this uh, one that is called Principal Agents Network. There is another one called Operation Commitment, Simunye, Sesikona, Platinum, Operation Self-Return, and many, many other more. And I want to say that all those particular uh, structures, all those operations needed lots and lots of money, which came from the taxpayers. But then that money, again, was used either to steal more from the people of South Africa or to kill some of the South Africans who rose and said, but yeah, these things are wrong. Yeah. That is why uh, we are here, and we cannot allow this to happen. These are very serious allegations, Mr. Madisha, particularly when you say some people were killed in the process. Do we have evidence perhaps to back that up? Will you be presenting such when you press these charges? Uh, there is a lot of evidence. Go to the Zondo Commission, look at the final report, but then as we go ourselves to court, to court to appear there, we shall be able to rise and say these are some of the cases where we believe that uh, this is what this man and those who commanded him to do whatever he did did himself and uh, here as cope we're not going to pull any plunge, uh, 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 punches we are talking about evidence that is there not only from zondo but what we ourselves know as congress of the people and we cannot allow this uh, anymore it has happened over a period of 18 years, it has happened uh, uh, intently over a period of 15 years, and we cannot allow this kind of thing to happen anymore. Do you believe it is Mr. Matrobo who should be facing the music in as far as all those allegations are concerned, considering that he was a minister? Look, he was the minister. He was, you know, the man who was uh, there. But then the fact is, obviously for him to push that, he was actually uh, instructed to do some of these things. Hence, we are saying that executive itself, that leadership of ANC itself must be looked at. They must come up. And some of the names that we are going to uh, put forward, the names that have been put forward 
by Zondo himself are the people that must be looked into. All right. Let me quickly ask you then about your reaction as Congress of the People about this ongoing, this rolling blackouts, implementation of State 6 by ESCOM. How do we move forward? We have had some people saying just fire the CEO of ESCOM. Is that the solution to your knowledge? Fire ANC, not the CEO. I say this, why? Because again it goes back to the Zondo Commission. All these kind of things uh, arose when the Zondo Commission was going on. It was able to uh, uh, find out, I'm referring to the Commission, to find out that uh, all those people who were employed, you talk about uh, Mulefe, you talk about uh, Koko, you talk about all these kind uh, of people, they were involved and these people were deployed by the ANC. And the very many, and lots and lots of money, which came as a result of you know, the corruption there in the uh, 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 in ESCOM and uh, 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 other many uh, state-owned enterprises. All those monies were taken to these people of ANC, Zuma and them. And we can't allow this kind of thing. We can't allow this. Therefore, the people of South Africa must know that they are suffering. There's no electricity, no transport, no food, nothing because of uh, those people. All right, just finally, we know that Andrew Dereiter did not necessarily cause this mess that ESCOM yeah. finds itself in. He inherited it. Yeah. But when he came in, he made commitments to continue with uh, maintenance of these power plants. And we are here now. The mess is continuing under his watch. Does it mean, therefore, that you are happy with him, as much as you're saying fire the ANC, but he's yeah. the man in charge of ESCOM? Who appointed him? Uh, that's the question. ANC deployed him there. The leaders of ANC deployed him there. So what we need to deal with is the source, you know, the commanders. That's exactly where we must go. But then this thing, I want to say, is not going to end here. What Cope says, yes, we're coming here to the police station, but then post our coming here, we are going to uh, uh, parliament. I served there in parliament on behalf of Cope, and we are going to say to the speaker of parliament, all these kind of things that have been found out, all these kind of uh, sufferances that have been uh, endured by the people of South Africa. Let's have an ad hoc committee to deal with all these things. It's not only, you know, Matrovo who stole. There are many other uh, people that have been cited. You talk about Gwede Mantashi, you talk about um, Sebenti Zwani, you talk about Rama, uh, I mean, Ramaphosa himself. Uh, there are many. Now, all those particular names, as uh, put on paper in the report by Zondo, we're saying they must be there. And what Cope's further says is that all these people must be uh, removed. Removed in what sense? They must be suspended, starting from a uh, president himself, because he is in there, and all these other ministers, they must be suspended. We are saying that there must be an ad hoc committee over a period of three months. And then that ad hoc committee, who must be in there? It must be all the political parties. We are 14 political parties there. Why? Because if you say that ANC, which is the majority in parliament, must uh, commandeer this thing, we know when we go to voting, they'll vote against the people of South Africa. That is why I want to say uh, to you, Emren, each and every political party must have at least one one person, and uh, we must have a person who will uh, cheer this thing. And what COPE will uh, uh, say is that let's have a retired judge so that after three months we can have proper results that will be taken to the people of South Africa through their parliament. Yeah, just a quick one. You know, there's always confusion. Step aside, whatever. Especially when it comes to the president. What are you saying? He must go on leave? Must he just resign from the position for whatever, be it whatever that he didn't do or he did during state capture or in as far as this Palapala scandal is concerned? We're not talking about Palapala here. We're here to talk about the Zondo Commission and therefore that which has arisen from the Zondo Commission is uh, what COPE will put forward. And, uh, and we are saying, we're not saying step aside, do this and so on. What we are saying as COPE is, you, Honorable Speaker, and we want to back here uh, from here, I will go and do the same when we go to Parliament, to say, be it President, as it does appear, of course, in the uh, report, and all these other ministers, there are many, Okay, there are more than 10 and other members of parliament 
Some of them are out. Now, take all these people, suspend them, put them aside for at least three months so that after then, we then uh, can now, as Parliament once again, COPE will be there to say this must be the direction. All right. Thank you so much, Mr. Willy Madisha. Well, Mfundo, there you have it. We know that the ANC has said that it was studying the Zondo report and it committed, though, that those members of the ANC implicated in that report will have to account to the Integrity Commission of the party. All right. Well, it seems COPE is then beating them to it and forcing them to account, at least to the police, at the very least, who will now begin that investigation. Muloko, thank you very much. That was ENCA reporter Muloko Muloto. Now